Before you can prepare any meal in your kitchen, some steps must be taken. And except food grows inside your kitchen, you have to stock up first. Then you can prepare the meal depending on what it is. There will always be a process. Hello and welcome to this data preparation, transformation and data cleaning essentials with Power Query course. I am Chef Ahmed. Sorry, I'll introduce myself properly soon. But like food that is never readily available, data is also mostly not readily available. Either because we have to extract them from some external sources first, and then even when we extract them from those sources, they are still usually not in the right shape and we still have to carry out some form of transformations before we can start to use them. Now, it is only after we are able to extract and we are also able to transform the data that we can now load them into the platforms where we would like to use them, just like it is only after you have prepared your food that you can now dish it out for consumption. Now, that process in data is known as the Extract, Transform, and Load Process ETL. And Power Query is a very powerful self-service ETL application that is available in Microsoft Excel, it is available on Power BI, it is available in analysis services, there is even an online version of it that is called Data Flows. And regardless of where Power Query is, it is mostly the same thing. So what you learn on one platform is what you are going to be using on the other platforms as well. Even though this course is going to focus more on Power Query inside of Power BI. My name is Ahmed Oyelowo. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer a Microsoft Certified Educator. I am also a Microsoft MVP for the data platform as at the time of this recording. This is my fourth year in the Microsoft MVP program. I have been using Power Query since 2015. Also, I am the lead trainer at Foresight BI and Analytics. In this course, we are going to learn how to get data into Power Query. We are going to take ourselves through the journey of understanding the Power Query user interface so that it will be easy for us to make use of Power Query. Then we are going to learn how to profile data and check for data quality issues. We are going to be applying some common data transformations in Power Query. Basically, we will be employing the 80 20 rule here because data can be dirty in like 1 million different ways that can also be. A million different ways requiring transformation in your data however we will only be able to go through those essential ones that you are likely to meet in everyday life we will also see how to deal with errors in power query and finally we are going to be cleaning some sample dirty data so without wasting more time let's get started 